Good evening and namaste everyone. I am Dr. Somak Majumdar and I am currently and working as an assistant professor in the Department of Medicine at Diamond Harbor Government Medical College. So today our point of discussion will be on high blood pressure or which we commonly call as a scientific term as hypertension. So every one of us would like to have a normal BP. But what does actually normal BP mean? So normal BP what happens is our heart what happens is it tends to pump blood throughout the whole body and that blood is pumped through channels which are called arteries to various parts and organs of the body and after the blood reaches the various parts and organs of the body then what happens is that blood is returned again to the heart through veins so when the blood is pumped through the arteries then what happens is the art, uh, blood when it goes through the arteries it presses on the walls of the arteries so that creates a pressure which is measured by us as blood pressure so now when this blood pressure becomes high due to certain factors then it becomes a silent killer what i mean by silent killer is that it does not in most of the cases it does not produce any symptoms but or it remains asymptomatic but it causes chronic damage to various organs in the body and ultimately leads to a slow death so when we have or when we are diagnosed with hypertension we should all tend to follow some uh, rules or some guidance or some guidelines now what are the risk factors which tends to cause high blood pressure we generally divide the risk factors into basically two categories modifiable and non modifiable so what does non modifiable risk factors means non modifiable risk factors means some things like age then gender of a person then the family history of a person or genetic factors now all these factors like age sex gender family history we cannot change the person acquires it by birth now the age of a person as a person becomes old or grows old the blood pressure tends to increase why because due to the arteries becoming the walls of the arteries becoming stiff then is sex or gender what we see is males have a higher blood pressure than females then we have physical uh, family history family history what does it mean that a person if his mother or father or first degree relatives if they have a high blood pressure then they generally tend to have a higher blood pressure in themselves also then there are some genetic factors there are some genes which determine the blood pressure which also regulate the blood pressure of a person throughout generations so these are the modifiable uh, non modifiable risk factors then let's come to the modifiable risk factors modifiable risk factors like a sedentary lifestyle means lack of exercise lack of exercise always leads to a high blood pressure the next is a uh, diet unhealthy diet unhealthy diet means you are taking a lot of saturated fats in the diet the fast foods which are available the fried foods deep fried foods so they all contain factors which tends to increase the blood pressure or they tend to cause obesity which causes blood pressure now obesity is also a modifiable risk factor the persons who are obese or who are fat in common terms they tend to have a high blood pressure then next is high level of salt intake or processed food intake so the foods which contain a lot of salt which are available in the market they tend to raise blood pressure a lot then uh, we have like intake of alcohol and uh, smoking cigarette smoking so these factors like alcohol smoking all these are modifiable risk factors which can be controlled by the person himself but a poor control on these leads to a high blood pressure so these are the risk factors now the most important part is how to diagnose a high blood pressure or hypertension 